John Avery thought rebounding was a big key here. What did you think of the effort there and the impact it had on the game? Um, yeah, I, you know, I, I thought again, you know, Jared and Winion, just go get balls. And Jared is, you know, I, I told him after, I said, you know, you're a beast and what you did and how you changed the game. I said, there's some shots you tried to shoot, just don't shoot them if they're, you, they're not a dunk layup or something you can easily make. Don't force it because everything else you're doing is great. And, uh, you know, it's nice to have another passer on the floor, and he's a willing passer. Um, today I went with a big lineup. I went with a scoring lineup, like the best team that I could put on that could play offense. And then I just hoped that they could guard a little bit. But I just put, I'm trying whatever I can to see if we can crack through this. And, and again, I, uh, I thought Nick started the game really well. Sasha went in and got a great rebound. It was a big play, that rebound he got. Um, but it's, you know, Quad A and Shea, and those guys made some shots. Wendon, poor Wendon. It doesn't seem like he can make a three with his feet in the water shooting it in the ocean right now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but he will. I mean, he's making 60 in five minutes. He's doing it, he gets in the game, and he just can't make them. John, it seemed like uh, Jared came out a little nervous like he has yeah. been in every game, yeah. but then once he made a few shots, he settled down. Yeah. Is this the player you've been looking for? And he's, and he's got to slow down some, too. He's got to just slow down. I mean, it doesn't – it means play fast, but don't be in a hurry. I want you to fly, but don't be in a hurry. And sometimes he gets anxious. He starts running, and his mind is moving as fast as his feet. Um, but I'll tell you, he is a – He's, I, I'll tell you who I'll compare him to, Dennis Rodman. That's who he is. De beat De How about this? Beat Dennis Rodman. He did all right. He can guard every position. Um, he rebounds offensively, defensively. He can pass. He's skilled. Um, made his free throws. So until the very end, we, were, we really, it was nice to see us go to the line and not have the other team go 1-2 and us go 0-0. Oh, oh. Then they go 2-2, two, two, and we go 1-2. It starts demoralizing you. And today, they, you know, either the right guys were at the line, or guys just made free throws. John, you talk about the play of Quaddy. It seemed like this untrained guy late in the game. He played as good a defense as he's played. You know what's amazing? He did. We said, what he can do is bother the ball. So he got up there and bothered the ball and did a good job. Yeah, I, I was proud. The only thing that got me mad was he missed the free throw and then gave up a layup. I mean, immediately. Was he mad about the layup or the free throw? The free throw. And I went nuts. That's our problem right now. You're more concerned about you than us. You missed the free throw, so what? You gave up a layup, that don't bother you. It's okay, I gave up a layup. Can you believe I missed that free throw? That's what we're kind of busting through right now. But his shooting and his ability to make shots, um, Four assists, no turns, made every right play. Um, he and Shea on the court together are pretty good. John, after the Auburn game, you were asked about being so composed, even with the losing streak. Now, you know your team better than we, anybody we, else. We, have a, we had a losing streak? <laughs> <laughs> Four games. Oof. But you know your team better than anybody else, but they seem to play with a little bit more of a sense of urgency. I think Coach Johnson said desperation today. Yeah. Is it possible yeah. that uh, when they see their head coach so composed that, uh, that they tone them down? Maybe they need a sense of panic. I, I keep telling them this is not about me. Uh, my job is to help each individual player get better and have a team that understands for everyone to benefit, they got to do this together. This is a basketball team. It's a team sport more than any other sport out there, and it happens real fast. If you're not about each other, your mind's not going to move quick enough to be about your team. Your mind is always thinking about yourself. You got to lose yourself in the team. And, and I keep saying to them, you know, this thing gets going, and we start taking this to the next level. It's not changing me, but it puts those guys in a different light. If we struggle, I mean, there may be some people mad at me, and that's fine. 
but it, I don't, it's unchanged, but for them it really is devastating at times. So this is about you getting better. It's not about what I am, what I do. Um, this team has to be empowered at some point. I thought they felt a little bit, but I had to stop them at times and drag, 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 drag. You know, they don't see some of the stuff. They're just kind of playing at times, but um, they played desperate. Let me say that we gave away some games this year. I mean, I can, you know, I can, I can tell you that we had leads late and just gave the game away. Um, we have to start taking games from people, which means desperation. And I told them that prior to the game. We got, we gave some away. Now we got to take some back. Got to go get some. And this was a good one. This team again, seventh in the country on defense, number one on defense in our league, and we did all right. And we made some shots we had to make. But the biggest thing is, we are what we are. Like, let's go get rebounds. Forget about missing shots. Go rebound. We got 20 offensive rebounds. That was like the difference in the game. Okay, that's right here. Uh, usually when we're talking about Shea, it's about his scoring. But today he had four rebounds, four assists, only and one And big turn. ones. You remember that one that was bouncing around in the middle? Now, there was another one that one of my guards looked at. It came right to him at the elbow in front of their bench, and he never went after it, and, and I went berserk because loose balls are why we lost at Auburn. They got every one of them, and we still have guys that don't think there's an importance to that going and, well, I thought so-and-so. Well, hit heads with him. Two of you hit heads going after the ball, man. Do that. So, but he came up with balls. He still, his decision-making on some of these plays late, you know, he had a turnover when it, there was a chance he could have thrown the ball to Quad A. He tried to lob it to Jared, a turnover. I mean, there were, you know, other plays were, and we're working hard on him coming to stops and doing different things. And now I'll tell you, they, these guys have been in the mornings and the evenings. They've been working on their own. They've been spending extra time, and it's starting to show. Um, now we got another game. Now we got to go to Arkansas, who's beating the crap out of somebody right now. It's going to be a hard game for us. It's another hard game. But let me just say this. There are no easy games in this league. None. And this league should get nine teams in. You had a team that lost, and they said and, and they said if Bam was still here, we would have lost again. Oh, hey, Bam, I didn't see you back there. Um, you know, well, they lost to so-and-so in the league. And that means they're out of the NCAA tournament. What? That team that they were talking about, Vanderbilt, had us beat twice. I mean, it's it's crazy. Whether it's South Carolina, whoever it is, these this league from top to bottom, nine teams. Let's go. We should have the same respect that all these other leagues are getting with this league this year. Um, I think our strength of schedule is still five in the country with all freshmen. Five. Our, our RPI is probably 15. Wait a minute, you all lost four in a row. You wanted to jump off a bridge. You want to? I know, but they, you think about who we lost to at A&M, at Auburn, Tennessee at home, at Missouri. I mean, if we'd have won one, I probably would have been surprised. You'd like to win the home game, but we didn't. But getting this one, you know, like I told them, hopefully makes them feel better. But it better not make them arrogant. This is like, hey, feel that we're making strides. My thing, if anybody wants, are we getting better? You have people that know nothing about basketball, only if we won or lost, and they'll go nuts. I'm not listening to them. You, 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 don't, what, you just want to know one or lost. Are you seeing that the team's getting better? Now, you may say, well, you better do a better job late because your team's giving you a chance to win, and you keep dropping these games. Okay, you can put that on me. But the reality of it is, we're getting better. We are. Now, I'm getting older, and I'm getting very tired. But we are getting better as a team. John, you know, you've talked to us really from the beginning about Players First program. I'm curious, how, how do you balance nurturing Tommy along for him versus what the team needs? And what's today a step forward for him? All right, so let, let's think about it's your son, and he's struggling. It's your son now, not somebody else's son. It's your son. Would you want me to just bench him and put him on the bench and say, we'll worry about it next year? That's what you'd want me to do with your son. I would say, you would say, Coach, 
He's responsible for himself, but please keep coaching him and let him know you love him and keep being there for him, but hold him accountable. If he's not going to listen to you, you should not play him. That's what I think a parent who's not trying to enable their son, who says, well, he takes him out. If he didn't take him out, he takes you out. And that parent is killing their son versus making them be responsible for who they are. In his case, I'm with Hami. He's trying, he's working, he's got some habits that are so bad, and they're habits, that they pop out sometimes at the wrong time. My job is to make sure he's not hurting the team, ready for this, or himself, and to keep working with him. But when I go in my office at 10 o'clock at night or 11, I better see him in there every once in a while, and you know what, I am. Now, if he's willing to do that and put in extra time and extra work, I'm for him. Now, if you're playing awful, I may not play you as much. But I'm going to play you. And if you're doing what we're asking you to do, I'm going to encourage you. That is someone's son, just like the others. Now, it'd probably be easier when a guy plays poorly, just say you're out and I'm going with these seven. I, I'm just not going to do that. I'm, I'm just not. I told Wendy and Sasha today, yesterday and prior to the game, I need you to rebound, set screens, block some shots, and run like crazy. If one of you is doing it more than the other, that's who's playing. I don't care if you score, dunk, and do whatever. A big play was Nick got out rebounded on a free throw. What'd they do with that free throw? Three point. How did that happen? He ran around me. Okay, Sasha, you go in. See if you can do it. I mean, this isn't hard. I mean, you're, I'm telling you, you rebound, you run that floor, you're defending like crazy, set great screens. Everything else is a bonus. If you can't do those, I'm playing the other guy. If both of you can't do those, I'm playing somebody else. So it's clear what they need to do, and I'm, I'm trying to be honest with them. But I have to, you know, these guys, they're all freshmen. They were a little bit scattered now, a little bit rattled. And if they looked at me and I was like, oh my God, we lose losing a game again. It's going to be five and over there. Ah! How would they have played today? I mean, think about it. How would they have played? I mean, I'm like, I'm old now. I used to be the young coach. I am now the old coach. I've been through just about everything you could be through, including absolute bazooka shots from the media my whole career. No, bazooka shots, agenda-driven stuff, my whole career. And I'm old now. If you shoot me now, it goes through a bazooka hole that's in my body. It doesn't even hit bone. It doesn't hit anything. So at the end of the day, this about these kids, how do I help? How do I help Hami? How do I help Sasha and, and Nick? Now, I'll tell you what becomes hard is if they're going to listen to somebody else. Can you help them now? You can't help them. And if they're listening to an enabler, whoever that enabler is, I can't help you. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to, Willie was in the gym and so was Bam. Is Bam still back there? I asked both of them in front of my team, why did you trust me? Why, Willie, did you trust me? You know what he did? He pointed to all the NBA players on the wall. That's why I trusted you. Why won't they trust me? I got a couple guys in here that do not trust me right now. Why? Bam. You never got the ball. And you trusted me. And Miami thinks they got the best player in the draft. So tell me why you trusted me. He said, I didn't trust you. Right? <laughs> But this is, these are steps at a time. You can't skip steps. I'm happy we won. It would have been a tough loss. But you know what? If we got better and we did something at the end, I would have taken responsibility and we move on. I'm not putting this on these kids. They're all young. Um, I can take it. I'm older. I've been through the wars. I can take the heat. Somebody's, I, I got some calls of people like, uh, you know, these people that are like, I don't read it, so I don't know. They, they, am I getting attacked? Is anybody attacking me? Yeah. Well, I got friends calling. They're a little probably sensitive. I don't know because I don't read it. But if you are, be mad at me. Don't be mad at the kids. Be mad at me. I recruited them. I'm coaching them. I'm the one that's buying time for guys, which may be costing us some game, but I'm going to continue to do it. I told you when I walked in the door, this is going to be about the players first. And I'm trying to stay that course. But 
they are responsible for themselves. If they can't perform, I'm going to play you, but when you're not performing, you can't be in there. I mean, it's pretty simple. Kyle and Jerry, and then we'll wrap it. Kyle, along those lines of, of trust you were talking about, Shea said yesterday that it's going to be up to each individual guy to decide to trust you. He said, I can't trust him for you. Is, is he, is he <laughs> one guy that... Uh, that did you see what he, he did? A Tony, he did a Tony Barbie move today. Tony Barbie used to run down the other side of the court for me. So when he screwed up, he'd just go down the other side. He'd never come to this, Tony! And he'd be down the other side of the court and act like he couldn't hear me. He'd go like this, what? Shoot, shoot free throws. Today, Shea did it. The last play where he dribbled down the sideline and threw a cross-court bullet across that almost got stolen in a nine-point game. They could have made a three. 30 seconds, all of a sudden at six, we'd have missed two free throws, another three, and I could see it going to overtime and us losing. Because my man dribbled down the sideline when we work every day on driving it to the middle of the court. He knew what he did. He saw it. He waved the guys over. He walked on the other side. If you watch, he got in the foul line on the other side and never looked at me, and I was yelling to him. He would not look at me, and then I got him at the end. If you saw, I said, get over here when he was in the middle of the court. He did it to Tony Barbie, but um, he is one that he's right. Like he trusts, he's totally bought into what do you want me to do? He's still at the end of games, got to make better decisions, but that's us helping him. Yeah. And, uh, how important is having a post presence down the stretch in a close game? And how well did PJ give you that? He did, and early on he, he fumbled balls and he turned it over. He had, four, he had five turnovers today and they were all like fumbled kind of balls and maybe a charge. He and Wendon had nine of our 13 turnovers. We had 13 turnovers, those two had nine. But when the game got in the balance, PJ made every play he was supposed to make. We need him to play 40 minutes that way, or 30, whatever minutes he's playing. But I have, all, even if he's playing poorly, I have all the faith in the world to go to him, and that's what we did. We went at him.